Hey everyone, welcome to your 34th basics of JavaScript video. My name is Mehul, and in this video, let's just take a look how we can actually traverse the DOM tree and make some modifications. So, we know that uh, if you write document, it will automatically be appended by window.document. So, you do not really need to write window all the time, right? Unless there's a name collision or something like that happening. We're just fine with document as well because all the properties of window object are automatically exposed without actually writing window itself right so we're going to say document dot get element by id now what does that mean well if you see if i just write this thing which should technically give us the function definition we get function get element by id with some native code well what does that mean well this function is not really implemented in JavaScript. What you would typically do is you would create an object and you would say get element by id is a function, it just says let's say return five, right? And hit enter. So now if you do object dot get element by id, you see you get the function definition, but with document dot get element by id, you get native code. Now the reason for this is this native code is actually implemented not in JavaScript but in C, C++ or other languages JavaScript is built on the top of, right? This is obviously because it is faster to access native code than JavaScript. So anyway, this was not really a part which is required at this time, but still I wanted to just get it out. So what we want to do is we need some way to select this H1. So we took a look at get element by ID. Is a way to do that. So I'm gonna give it this element an ID of let's say name, right? Once I give it an ID attribute, I can actually write document but get element by ID name and hit enter. You see, it returns me this particular element. With this, I can now take a look at what what methods do I have with this. We see h1.name has a lot of interesting methods. We have access key, these all these properties. And uh, if you take a look at the methods, you have like these properties like inner HTML, inner text, right? And uh, a lot of stuff for you to browse, right? So, right now, what we're gonna do is just say uh, document.getElementById.name.inner text, which is a property we took a look. And let's say this is my name is Koda and hit enter. You see, that once you change it here, the DOM reflects it, right? So, this is one way of changing the text. You assign an element, an ID, and an identifier, and you select it with JavaScript. You, you dot it, basically, just get its inner text property, and then override it with your new text. Now obviously I can change it back to like Mayhul123, whatever it is, right? And it'll reflect. On a similar way, not only do we have get element by ID, we have a lot of other selectors as well. Like uh, get element by class name, get elements by tag name, and so on and so forth. So we're gonna take a look at some of them in the next one. And that's all for this video. If you liked it, then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.